Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Samira is going to be able to do very well there. Um, the mid Silas has been a pretty big favorite against the Zoe, historically speaking, so... Don't... Yeah, it can be pretty rough in that early game, of course, for that lane as another engage is going to come down here, but Kellen a little bit short on that one. Just going to lock down effort. Kellen gets booped into the air, but not much comes of it. Krakos here again. As with that mid priority, I feel like Krakos really trying to get aggressive, and it looks like he wants to go into the bottom lane. Here we get the knockup on a Kellen. Do they have that burst damage? The flash will come in, and Kellen, extremely tanky as you mentioned, is going to survive. And now Effort has to flash away as <laughs> Peanut makes his way in, and nobody's actually going to die here. And this is his mid priority. Fate going to come down here and be annoying, but we'll see if he can actually get anything done from this. The biggest winner is Bay right now. We could actually take a breath. <laughs> Ooh, Fate's going really aggressive here. Krako finally comes in. Was it just a beat all the time? Yes, it was. First Blood comes in as my cat jumps on the desk and Duckdom might be jumping down as well. That's going to be two kills to the side of Lifts. I am curious to see, um, you know, how this continues. Is Effort once again going to be aggressive? Oh, man. Duck Dom here with no summoners gets popped on, but actually oh. Effort is the one that overextends, and now he's going to get burst down, but Root hitting level 6 and doing insane damage to Kellen there, showing that huge team fighting ability from the Samira. Knockup coming down onto the Gnar. Bay has to flash away. Actually avoids the collateral damage, but at the same time, Peanut coming in here says, well, I'm just going to go forward. I have to get this Rift Herald anyway. Going to be looking for the kill onto the Zoe. Does not come through. So actually, you know. Sure. Yeah. And I feel like it is Peanut just trying to make the best of a, a pretty rough situation for his team right now. You can see there's a 2,000 gold lead, four extra kills to the side of Liv's sandbox. With that huge roam coming out from Fate, you can see the gold difference already showing in the mid lane and also the jungle as Kroko was helping out down there, but a nice lockdown onto Effort. He gets caught here as opening up from the backside is the Jin. They're going to lock him down, and now coming in pretty late here is Fate, trying to bait for the rest of his team to come in, and will he be able to do so again? Yes, he will, as Fate comes in, but actually gets booped down by Rich, who will pick up the kill, but now Root getting into the fight, trying to build up to that S-Class, and there he is going to build up to it, but now trying to pick up that kill onto the rail. He will finally do it as Rich will go down to the side of Root, and Root will come down and try to finish off Peanut and should be able to double kill going the way of Samira as Root is popping. survives through the latter part of that fight. It just does not happen. Um, it's hard to explain without showing you where, where he's trying to stand there and who he's <laughs> trying to link with. Yeah. I think Peanut in this case. This is... Uh... This is not looking too good. 2v5. <laughs> Duck Dom trying to turn it on to Root, see what he can get done. You can see Kellen desperately trying to sacrifice his life in hopes of saving Duck Dom or at least buying some time as one final shot. And that's going to be an extra kill to Root. So, not really reading them. Botley, you know that's a lost cause. Gets a second charge as well. And this is Nongship on the map. <laughs> they are just always out rotating their opponents and trying to trade. <laughs> Uh, better. This is a bad spot. Oh. <laughs> Not again. They're going to get caught here underneath their turret as that's going to be another kill onto the Jin. Might be more because it's first I don't dead. Know. Yeah, Kellen's just going to die too. He's going to try to flash and make it over to Bay, but that was really desperate. He was never getting out there. And now, after a fantastic game one, he's just been bullied in this game. Zero and five. Whereas the enemy Simira has five of those kills. As now they're looking to trade here onto Rich. Doesn't look like he, uh, you know, he realized this was coming. He was desperately trying to make something happen on the top side of the map and put on Rick for this long. It, uh, it should have kind of been sacrificed at this point, you know? If you're getting uh, just absolutely shrecked in the bottom lane, you, you gotta try to mix things up and go for a different lane as I say that though, they are gonna be looking for a dive onto Summit. As the Ragnarok comes in here, Bay taking a lot of damage early on. Do they have the damage to burst through Orn? Yes, they do. So a nice little trade. Through. Now that mid turret is gone, and Fate can set up so, many, so much more poke damage. Let me look at what he's capable of doing here, even with just one minion wave. Look at the vision control they're taking away from Nongshim now. Suddenly, Zoe looks like an insanely powerful pick, given the situation. 
Mm-hmm. I'm just got a little bit of extra mobility here with that pickup too. <laughs> oh, Nongshim trying to get in here and force it with the Mega Nar. Can they try to burst down this Orn before he gets anything done? Does get the triple knockup, does the Orn, but he does go down. Or uh, Rich, rather, trying to boop some heads into the wall, but Rich is going to go down, and now there's not much of a front line to the side of Nongshim as, oh man, Duck Dom just immediately gets one tapped hey. on the backside. Hey. He's like, wait, I forgot and, about you. Yeah, ooh. Oh, not quite. Well, here comes Effort. Yeah. He's got those Moby boots. Knows he's been spotted, and so Peanut will be able to get away, but Nongshim just desperate at the game. I mean, they're, they are so massively stacked right now, as Peanut is uh, seemingly alone, but actually he does have Kellen coming in, Duck Dom trying to help out, Teleport coming in from Bay, but with the Flash coming out, I don't... Oh, okay, Bay is actually going for this. He is going to use that Alistair ultimate and just... Uh, hmm... <laughs> just jumping the gun a little bit yeah. there. I mean, uh, the thing is, like, they were huh. they were cut in half. Nongshim uh, were, but they still were able to reconsolidate with that teleport coming in from Bay. And the idea was there, but unfortunately, the execution a little bit weak. Yeah, now they're just getting burst down underneath the turrets. The Samira goes in, and you can see that Rich is desperate to get a flank and actually kills the Zoe somehow. So nicely done, I suppose, but he is a bit alone as everybody else in his back line is just being shred to pieces here as he'll just have to slink away uh, looking to try to trade a little bit with the croco but what he was trying yeah to really i do. actually I, I was looking elsewhere in the fight i thought he stole the orn ultimate but he didn't and like if he stole the orn ultimate it's still pretty it's a tough call but maybe he could turn that around um he's because he's got a bit of a reputation recently for uh engaging at a pretty aggressive angle well, Nongshim, the one good thing about them is that, uh, you know, they're not just going to sit back and die. They will go down fighting. Um, and that's exactly what they're trying to do here. They want to go for the fight. They're looking for the Orn again. They're going to deny that ultimate coming in here. But do they have the damage as Root is going to get another kill and immediately just shreds that front line down? Doesn't really look like Nongshim have a chance in this one at all. As the Cloud Drake going to be taken down. On the back. Itemized into Leandri's, uh, but you wouldn't believe it based on the burst damage you're seeing from this champion right now. <laughs> um, he's got a yeah. he's got a needlessly large rod and buff. So the side laning that you're seeing right now for Root is insanely powerful and potent. There's just no way for Nongshim to try to cut through this jungle here, especially without vision control uh, to stop this. So this should just be a free inhibitor and. Nongshim's like pushing mid indecisively and now backing to try to hope to defend the base. <laughs> Peanuts like, just uh, just wait up guys, I'm gonna take this inner turret. Don't worry, uh, I'll be there eventually. As the Orn ultimate gonna knock up Kellen as he just disappears again. And uh, man, there are just so many super fed members on the side of Live Sandbox at this point in time. Rich trying to get it done. The Silas goes 100 to zero in about 0.3 seconds as uh, that's going to be a double kill over to the side of Root. And uh, again, like I said, you know, Nongshim at least make it fun. They're not going to go down without a fight. But at the end of the day, they did die 28 times. And that is going to be the win going to the side of Liv Sandbox as they will tie up the series. Yeah, very much a different Zoe game here for Fate. It was...